people of the interwebs. It's Liam Carlson here. Um, and in this video, as always, in the comments or the description below uh, is the link this time for episode number six of season seven for Charmed. So hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy uh, my reaction to this episode. Uh, of course, I will include my thoughts from that episode uh, in this video. Um, but uh, yeah, be sure to comment and all of that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a blast. So until the next time, toodles. There was some interesting things that stemmed uh, from this episode uh, with, like I said, uh, Agent Brody, especially in regards to the uh, reasoning why he's here. Um, and it seems to imply that those uh, avatars that we had in season five um, had a tie in to, to what happened to his parents. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the indication that I've got, but it does seem like they are the ones messing with uh, Leo's head. So, um, yeah, that was a fun revelation because, like I said, we saw that, well, we saw one of them um, in, in season five. Um, and it seems like he's got some new friends, of course, because I don't recall seeing them uh, in season five. But, yeah, it's, it does seem like they are the ones messing with Leo's head. So... That is a very, very interesting thing to divulge into, really, um, in regards to uh, the threat that they do possess with the fact that, well, Leo has been killing um, white light is left, right and center under the influence of these avatars. So um, it is very, very interesting to see them become a, a contribution, especially uh, with the fact that, um, you know, they want it cold to be with them. Um, and now they're here um, just tormenting Leo uh, to death. So, yeah, very, very interesting stuff there um, in regards to the revelations of, of uh, these avatars. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was very interesting uh, to go into this episode, um, especially with what was happening to the Charmed Ones, because, um, of course, there were quite a few things um, that, occurred that were very interesting to explore with the of course blue moon something i do do want to point out and i'm not sure if there's some kind of like um odd phenom phenomenon i can't say that word ever but um it's the thing that comes into my mind uh, mind when i'm about to embark on this is the fact that i think it was Paige who said that there are two blue moons um in one year that happens every 50 which is fair enough um it, it is uh quite the odd occurrence so yeah but um i believe there were three because of course you had like i said i don't know if this is like something um unprecedented um but um you had of course the white lighter that they were gonna uh, get assigned to get attacked and that was of course the first instance of the blue moon and then he got attacked again um so yeah um although it didn't seem as bad i guess but uh especially given the fact that the charmed ones were uh contained and then of course it happened at magic school um after they went uh, after the elders went about accusing uh leo of uh oh you, you, so you have snapped and etc because he got possessed uh by that demon so, uh, demon so yeah so that 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 marks free um i'm i'm guessing but like i said it could be an odd circumstance but it is something that um yeah it is something that i am uh, picking up so yeah um but i also um hazard a guess that th that was affecting especially if they were transforming into like these uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, they, it was iffy CGI, but you know, it, it was like early two thousands for a TV show as well. So yeah, um, but you had these like uh, iffy CGI werewolves, uh, and I'm wondering if that was the cause of their like um, emotional ish, um, situations when it came to like Piper was a bit more on edge, etc. So of course uh, they did, you know, talk about yeah, PMS and how that was affecting them. So. Uh, but I'm also, but I'm thinking it might have, uh, like, especially if you've got, like, the shifting into the, you know, demonic wolves, um, I can also imagine 
even uh, I can also imagine that that might have had a bit of a toll on your emotions. I'm not sure, but um, that's that's the indication that I'm uh, or uh, that I am getting uh, into it, like how it ties into the whole wolves thing. So yeah, um, but I mean, yeah, they played around some interesting elements there. So, um, where of course the charmed ones would become a, a threat. So. Um, and yeah, it, it was just going to be very interesting to see where they would go. Like, especially with Leslie being involved, especially with Brody being involved. Um, so yeah. And yeah, no one was the wiser in terms of the elders that the charmed ones were affected. Um, so, but, um, it, it was very, it was going to be very interesting to see how things would play out. So um, because there was one scenario in my mind that I was imagining, oh, it's going to be absolutely shambolic if, um, if, if Leslie just gets absolutely mauled here or something like that. I, you wouldn't want it to happen, uh, especially considering the fact he'd be dead. But, um, yeah, I mean, it would just add the complications further to Phoebe and Leslie. But, I mean, I'm glad that it, it, like, I'm glad that with their breakup and all of that, it, it does kind of give Phoebe a bit of a push forward. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it is sad that them two parted ways. Um, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, with Leslie, he, um, had to go and, uh, yeah, um, it, 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 if anything, uh, there does seem to be a bit of hope. I mean, obviously, with her breakup with Jason, I mean, that was that was bittersweet. But, I mean, yeah, he also found out about, you know, what um, Phoebe was all about. And I don't think Leslie did. So, um, I guess a plus, like, he didn't freak out and all of that. But, I mean, it was just a, a, a big complication. But I feel like with what Phoebe had to say to Leslie at the, um, you know, ending of the episode, I think there's a little bit of hope there, potentially, down the line for Phoebe. So, yeah. Um, but, I mean, she's back now uh, in, you know, her job. So, yeah. Um, and there's the whole Piper and Leo thing, and you know it's sad because you had that ending at the end of episode five, um, and you just were filled with so much hope that okay, well these two are definitely going to get back together. And so came the talk about Leo moving in, and um, it is sad because of the fact that with Leo saying that he can't pose much of a, a threat to his family. Um, and, you know, Piper can't really do anything, really, in terms of influencing Leo if Leo thinks this is prob this is most likely for the best, given the fact that he doesn't want to put anyone in harm's way in terms of his family. He's got two young kids, he's got Piper, he doesn't want... Like, if you've got these avatars um, tormenting him, you don't want to uh, jeopardize um, your family any further. So until we can sort this shit out. So uh, at least this gives Piper a bit of a drive in terms of sorting. Uh, now that she's seen um, the faces that, well, at least the floating heads that are associated to Leo, she can now try to find a way forward to try and remedy this whole situation. But it's going to probably be easier said than done, given the fact that they are pretty powerful, like, especially, you know, we know what they have been like. It, like I said, in regards to how they impacted Cole, and you go back to Centennial Charmed, I think it was, uh, Cole's last episode. Um, and... Yeah, it's it's going to be a case of easier said than done, especially if they're affecting white lighters as well. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, it was very, very, um, you know, sad because it seems like with Piper and Leo, they can never catch a break, right? So, um, but fingers crossed things will progress further. And, uh, yeah, there's also Brody and, uh, Paige, which I think is a very, like, I don't know. I ship them. I, I feel like there is a ship on the car. I mean, it depends on what's going to happen in terms of Brody. Cause of course he's got his in uh, investigation into his parents' death. And, uh, uh, like I said, I feel like there's the indication that those avatars were like involved. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that is a very, very interesting subject as well. Like, why? What? Like, this guy, 
he is he is not your I mean obviously he's investigating the 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 charmed ones and you know he's already stepping outside of the realms of normality in terms of you know not keeping himself like like Leslie like Leslie was not in like he was completely in the world of normality he it was none the wiser can't same can't be said for 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 uh, Brody um and I feel like there is some kind of magical essence in regards to his parents, and that's and if he's if what he is saying is is true in regards to the avatars being somehow involved, there has to be some kind of magical means in terms of his parents, right? So, um, because I doubt I doubt they would go for any average Joe and all of that. So, um, yeah, but. We'll just have to wait and see. It does, you know, add to the intrigue of Brody even further. I will say that. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, not bad episode. Um, very intriguing stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys next time then. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check out my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!